Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. Um, in today's video, it's going to be a little bit different. I obviously do a lot of unboxings here, I get a lot of products, I then use a lot of products and I talk to you every month about my empties where I review the products that have become empty that month. Um, but I thought there's so many products that I'm trying now and they won't become empty for ages so you won't actually hear about them until they're, they're actually empty um, and they're in my empties video. So I thought what I would do is film a video talking about some new products that I've entered my skincare collection, makeup collection, um, and I'm excited to use, tell you a little bit about those, and then also tell you about some of my favourite products which I'm using at the moment, and yeah, tell you how much I love them. So yeah, I'm also so warm in this day, I've just put this jumper on because I've just filmed another video, um, and this is the jumper that I just wanted to put on, and it's so warm in here. Um, it's like the, I think this is like the hottest day of the year so far, and I'm literally like sweating in this jumper. But I'd have to get changed so I'm just gonna stick in this and film this video first um but yeah let's dive into it okay so um if you follow me on Instagram you will have seen um I put stories up whenever I get new products in PR to try and um, so you'll you'll already seen some of these products um that I've received if you don't yet follow me on Instagram I'll leave that link down below if you want to go and check it out um I used to be quite fashion based but now I'm just definitely more skincare and beauty kind of based um I just post about what I like so yeah go and give me a follow if you're interested in that um, also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I'm almost at 3k, which is still tiny in the world of YouTube, but for me, that's a lot and I'm happy with that. So super excited to almost be at 3k. Um, so thank you so much if you subscribed. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is a new brand. Um, they reached out to see if I wanted to try a few of their products. I've never heard of these before. Um, I'm just trying to find a card actually. They sent me a card. Okay, and this brand is called Mantle. Mantle's signature is a mix of carefully chosen and well-studied actives and botanicals. Our renowned CBD elevates these products and provides superior results. So it's professional skincare elevated by cannabis. Um, so yeah, this is a little card that they sent me with a picture on. And they sent me three of their products. They sent the Magic Milk, um, which is actives and botanicals, prebiotic oat extract, squalane, papaya and mango enzymes, CBD cleanser creamy CBD cleanser. So this is the packaging for this one. This looks so nice. I love all of the packaging. I think it looks so cool. Um, and they also sent over this product, which is the Chill Cream, which is a moisturiser. It says, the Chill Cream is your new favourite moisturiser, calming and comforting, like a warm hug from a friend, but for your skin, for AM, PM, and whenever needed. So I've got the moisturiser there. The packaging is just so nice. So this is the outside packaging. And it says mantle. Oh, the letters for mantle are just all over it um, and then this is the the jar inside again a really nice packaging a really big size as well so i'm really excited to try that one um i'm halfway through the sunday riley ceo moisturizer at the moment so one that is empty i'll be moving on to this one um same with cleanser i've got two cleansers open at the moment so i'm going to finish those first then move on to this one and try this and then the other product that they sent over is the wow serum so this is vitamin C and CBD elixir, and it's a serum, and it says, it's not cannabis, it's cannabuti. Cute. Um, this illuminating serum is designed to feed your skin with deep hydration and rich nutrients. The combination of CBD, vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, squalane, and light reflecting pigments provide a vibrancy and multi-depth moisture for long-lasting plumpness and orgasmic radiance. So you apply it onto your face after cleansing and misting AM and or PM for wow skin. So again, that sounds fab. Oh, so it looks like it looks like a foundation. It looks like tinted. That's what it looks like. So yeah, maybe this will give a little bit of coverage as well. Hmm. So yeah, those are the three products they sent over. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit about the brand whilst I'm here. Um, now when they reached out, I did. I always look at the brand. Um, before I say yes or no. Most of the time I say no, it's very rare I say yes uh, to receiving PR. But I had a look through these and I was quite intrigued to try the products. So on the website then, I'll link this down below as well if you want to check it out. Um, it says Mantle's products are designed with premium quality and unapologetic freedom in mind. The product line offers an antidote to a time consuming 12 step beauty routine filled with do's and don'ts. Uh, it's multifunctional premium products that make your room be too important to even settle for mediocre. Super cute. Um, it says the inspiration for our line came from founders, I'll try and say these names, um, Josephine Langard and Stina Longfist. I don't know, um, being fed up with natural beauty products that didn't do enough, they were also fed up with the alternative 
active products that contain all sorts of ingredients you never put on your skin. So Mantle's products combine the best of both worlds. All products consist of a powerful blend of actives and botanicals um, to promote radical results with min minimal effort. The star of the show is the non-psychoactive cannabis extract CBD known for its ability to restore skin's equilibrium and enhance overall skin vitality. Um, so yeah, I just thought that sounded pretty cool. And I've not tried many skincare products with CBD so I thought I'd give them a go and see how I got on with them. So those are the three products that I'll be trying from Mantle. Uh, then next I received um, a PR package from Bondi Sands um, and they've just released their new skincare line so they sent over a little package. Uh, which was so cute. So there's three items inside. One of them is there. Hang on. Okay, so the three items they sent. The first one is the Thirsty Skin Hydrating Hyaluronic Serum. So this is the box. The packaging all looks super cute. It's all very similar. Oops. It's all very similar. Um, so yes, yeah, so we've got the Hyaluronic Serum. It's enriched with hyaluronic acid and algae extract. And it will leave your skin plump and perky cruelty free and vegan and the packaging for this inside is so cute as well look at it it's so nice love it so different as well and I love the colours that they've picked um, so we've got the hyaluronic serum there we've also got the purifying clay mask which is the blue one so this is what the mask looks like um, and this one says it detoxifies skin for a clearer complexion it's enriched with blue spirulina extract bentonite clay and matcha it reduces redness and draws out impurities to leave you with firm and glowing skin so i've nearly finished the clay mask that i use when i'm in the bath so then we'll move on to that one and then the final product is the sweet dreams hydrating night moisturizer so that's what that one looks like um so yeah this is a night moisturizer it provides up to 72 hours of hydration so you can wake up to plump perky skin and which with hyaluronic acid squalane hibiscus Sabdorifa fruit extract and algae extract. It will leave your skin feeling moisturised and nourished. Um, so yeah, three products there. They also threw in this cute little headband there for when I'm doing my skincare routine. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely be trying all three of those out. Speaking of Bondi Sands as well, I really like their SPF for face and for body. Um, really, really nice. There's no white cast. It just sinks into your skin so nicely. Um, so when I was shopping on ASOS last week, I noticed that this was on there so this is the bondi sands um everyday protection of face spf 50 plus um and it's a spray now my usual spray my go-to is the garnier ombre solaire um or the la roche posay one so it's quite similar to this um and i like to use these for topping up my spf when i'm out and about um so i'll generally do like an spf base uh under my makeup and then this is just so good for topping up so i thought i'd try this one because i loved the spf from Bandai Sands anyway, I thought I'd try this and I tried it over my makeup last week um, and it's such a nice fine mist. Um, it feels a lot kind of wetter than the other one, the other one seems more of like an aerosol spray um, but it dried quite quickly, it didn't mess anything up on my face um, and yeah it seemed really good so so far so good I'm really enjoying this one um, but yeah I just thought I'd mention that because I've um, mentioned those. So yeah I'm expecting really good things from those. If it's if they're half as good as the sunscreen, I'll be impressed. Okay, a couple of other new things. So one that I'm really excited to try is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This came in the Look Fantastic Limited Edition box um, in collaboration with Bobbi Brown. Um, I did that unboxing the other day and this was one of the products in it. I've been wanting to try this for such a long time. Um, so I'm so happy that this is finally in my collection. Um, so yeah, I really can't wait to start on that one. Um, at the moment, I've got a few products open that I need to finish first before I can move on to this. Um, but yeah, this one sounds amazing. It says, rich in feel but never greasy. This unique moisturiser nourishes skin with shea butter and vitamins B, C and E whilst creating the perfect base for flawless makeup application. So it's like a moisturiser primer duo. Um, I wouldn't just use this and then go straight in with foundation. Um, I pop this on and then go in with an SPF afterwards and then foundation. Um, but yeah so excited to try this one there's so many good reviews out there on this so really excited to try it um and then the final product i wanted to mention um was from sunday riley it's the a plus high dose retinoid serum so if you watched my empties last month i think it was i think it was the march one um i used a mini sample of this which was in 
I think it was the Space NK Advent Calendar last year. And although you can't really tell results from such a tiny sample, the serum itself was really nice and I really liked using it. The consistency of it was just really nice on my skin. Um, so I thought I would get the full size. Now I picked this up on Liberty and the full size of this um, is £70. So it's like quite an expensive product. Um, but because I signed up to that Liberty box, I forgot what it's called now, at the end of last year, I paid £20 a month for three months, so I had £60 credit on Liberty to spend. Um, I don't plan on getting their advent calendar this year, as of yet. Um, so I just thought I would put that £60 towards this. So this cost me £10, um, which is exciting. So yeah, this is what the product looks like. And I really can't wait to use this. At the moment, I'm using the Rhodiol Retinol Drops. So after I've finished that, I will then move on to this. Um, but yeah, it was just so nice. I really enjoyed using it, so I'm hoping that I will get some good results. It says to start using it two nights a week, uh, then take two nights off, and gradually work your way up to every other night, then every night. Um, my skin is quite tolerant of retinol, so I can usually use it, I'd say, five out of seven nights. So yeah, I'm just going to go straight in with this, and I'm very excited to use it. So yeah, so those are my new entries that I just wanted to mention. Yeah, once I've tried some of these, um, if I do another video like this, you'll hear all about them. Uh, if not, you'll see them in my empties videos. But yeah, if anybody wants any updates on the products or recommendations, feel free to drop me a message on Instagram. I do try to reply to all DMs, um, even when they're hidden. So yeah, feel free to message me on there and I will try my best to help. Um, but yeah, so the products that I've been loving this month, there are a few products. One's downstairs, so I'm going to have to go and get that. Um, but... Yeah, the first one is this little makeup brush. This is the It Cosmetics Complexion Perfection Buki Brush. Now, it's got foundation on because I've used it today. Um, this was actually in the Cult Beauty Advent Calendar last year, 2021, um, in like Drawer 18 where there was like a million products. Um, this was in there. It came in this little tube like this. So it's all protected. Um, and it's been sitting on my dressing table since then. And I've looked at it and thought I should try this, but I've just always reached for my beauty blenders when doing my foundation. And then yesterday I was like, no, I'm going to try this, I'm going to try it. Um, so I just got it out, tried it with my foundation, and honestly it's the softest brush I've ever tried. It blends my foundation and my concealer so well. Uh, I get a really, really flawless, even finish using this, and it's just so soft. Like, I'm obsessed with it, it's amazing. So I can't believe it's actually been sitting on my dressing table for that long and I've not actually used it because I'm so impressed with it so I just had to tell you about this one um yeah game changer I have always done my foundation with a brush I started off with foundation brushes I then used more uh, stippling brushes and then I moved on to beauty blenders and I've been using beauty blenders now for a couple of years uh, I usually just dampen them for my foundation and then apply my foundation and then use brushes to apply my powder so yeah this is the first time I've used a brush to do foundation in the longest time but Wow, it's amazing. So I highly recommend that. Really nice. Another product I am loving using at the moment is the Super Goop Glow Screen. This is just a little mini that came in, I think it was the Cut Beauty Advent Calendar again, maybe. Could have been at the gift we purchased, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, this is a little mini. Now, when I first got this, I actually thought this was the Unseen Sunscreen, which I've used many times before and I really liked it. So I was super excited. I was like, oh, I've got another one. And then it's a glow screen. I was like, oh. Is this going to be as good? It's better. I love this. Um, I'm definitely going to repurchase this when this runs out. So this is an SPF 30 and it's slightly tinted. I'll try and show you a little bit without it spilling out. Can you see? So it's slightly tinted. Um, so I've been applying this after doing my skincare. Um, on days when I've not had makeup on, I've just worn that on its own. And it just makes my skin look so flawless. It has. It's just a, a gentle tint. Um, but it just gives you a glow as well, like it says glow screen. Uh, it's a nice glow, uh, really nice consistency on the skin, it's not tacky, it doesn't peel, and it's SPF 30, so really nice SPF. Very excited about this one. Um, I've looked since on Cut Beauty, on Selfridges, on various websites, and it's sold out everywhere. So if this runs out and I can't get another one, I'm going to be really sad. Um, but I've added it to my wish list on Cut Beauty, um, so next time I purchase something I can just add it on. Um, or if there's a gift we purchase. I think last year there was a gift we purchased that I unboxed around May time. 
so I think that'll be coming pretty soon so I can just add that to my basket then if it's in stock fingers crossed um, and get the full size of this but yeah this is amazing really really like this and this is going to be so good for summer um, I also tried it by putting this on and then one of the next products which I'm loving at the moment I then put on top the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil I always look some tacky on the top because I've had my fingerprints on it but I've just been doing my makeup um, so yeah this is another product that I'm loving at the moment I used to wear this I'd say like when I was about 18 um, it was just a, a powder foundation so I'd just wear it on its own uh, quite nice natural coverage um, but yeah not worn it since. This popped up in an ASOS box a few months ago um, and I just popped it in my drawer and then I finally finished my Laura Mercier translucent powder. That's been open for about two years and it's finally empty. Um, so I just reached for this one next, forgetting it was like an actual powder foundation rather than just translucent powder. Um, and this has been giving me such a nice coverage like on top of my foundation. Um, so I have it on today. Really, really nice. But also on no makeup days where I've been wearing this, if I didn't want it to look shiny, um, I just pop this on top and it's such a nice coverage. The both of these together is going to be like the perfect summer makeup for me. And yeah, these are just amazing. So, so good. Yeah, really nice. It blends so nicely. It's super like flawless complexion finish. Beautiful. So yeah, rediscovered this one from many years ago. Okay, the next thing is the Beautyworks 10 in 1 Miracle Spray. So this is not going to be empty for a long time. Um, I've been using this since my birthday. I got it for my birthday from my sister. Um, and I don't know how full it is, but I've definitely not used it. I've used it every single time I wash my hair, um, but there's loads left. It's really, really heavy. So yeah, if I was leaving this to my empties, it's probably going to be like Christmas before you even hear about this one. Um, but I really recommend this. So I always like to apply some kind of um, leave-in conditioner, like cream product to the ends of my hair, so like middle and to down. Um, and then I also like to apply like a heat protection spray kind of product. Um, and yeah, I've been using this. So this says it delivers 10 benefits. It eliminates frizz, restores shine, nourishes, replenish oils, protects from heat, detangles conditions, prevents split ends, enhances natural body and repairs dry damaged hair. It's daily treatment. So I apply this to damp hair before I hair dryer it. Before I hair dryer it, is that a word? Before I dry it with a hair dryer. But this is the product that everybody puts onto the hair before they use the curlers or the straighteners. So it's just a heat protection spray. Um, so you can use it that way as well. Um, and yeah, it's just really nice. It smells nice. It just detangles your hair and I just think it's a really, really nice um, protection spray. I don't think it's too expensive either. So I think it is quite affordable. So I would definitely recommend this one. Okay, the next product I've been loving is actually a makeup product. And this I'm very behind the times of because I've had this for such a long time and everyone else has had it for such a long time. But I've just started using this palette and it is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Eyeshadow Palette. Um, such a gorgeous palette, absolutely love them. With me, when I get eyeshadows, I tend to find an eyeshadow I like and then I'll use that to death. So like when I discovered the um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, I mean, I used it every day since, well, for months. So you can see how much I actually used. So I do tend to find an eyeshadow I like and stick to it. And then I don't try any others for a while, I just get into a routine. So yeah, I picked this up last week from a drawer and I just thought I'm gonna go and try some different colors try some different shadows um so yeah so the look that I've got on today is this palette um and I've picked out a few faves so here so the one I've been loving recently is this base here so this is desert sand I've been using as a base all of my eyelid um, and then I've been going in with musk which is this color here so I've been using this to kind of like contour in that V kind of shape and then also just underneath slightly um, and then I've been using Nefertiti? I, think, I don't know how you say that one this kind of like gold glitter here now if you watch my uh, declutter you'll know that every eyeshadow palette I use I always gravitate towards that gold because I think it's just such a gorgeous shade um, so I've just kind of popped that on top here and I just think that is such a nice kind of natural looking combo um, I've also tried some of the darker colours, so I did like a bit of a darker, um, reddy, browny kind of um, look last week. So for that I used a saffron, which is this dark one here, um, amber, oud, and I went in with, oh this one, Cosmo, which is super glittery, like they're so, so pigmented. Um, but yeah, these are just really, really nice shades, so that is my perfect combo for like a really nice everyday, just smart kind of look. But yeah, they're really, really nice, really pigmented, 
not yet experimented with the purples, but I will be giving that a go as well. Um, but yeah, I was just super impressed with that palette. So I'm going to experiment with more colours from that one. And then I've also got the, yeah, the other one I've got is the Rose Gold Palette Remastered, which I haven't tried yet. I think I've got another one as well. I mean, that one looks so stunning. So I will be giving that one a go soon as well. Um, I think there's another one, but I don't know what it is at the moment. Um, so yeah, loving that one. Um, also, eyeliner wise, now I always use a liquid pen eyeliner. Um, quite particular with them because I don't like them when the nib is too harsh. I like the nib to have a bit of flexibility um, so I can go over my eye and get my flick. Um, I also like it quite precise at the edges as well, so I like to be able to get a precise flick. Um, so it has to be like a sharp nib. And yeah, I've tried loads. Natasha Denono is a really good one. I've used that before and that's been in a few of my empties videos. Um, there's just quite a lot of liquid in that, so it's quite liquidy. Um, so when you start using that, it's quite hard to control. My favourite at the moment is the Kat Von D tattoo liner, I think it's called. That is really nice. Now, that one became empty, so I moved on to this one from Ico. I just picked one out, I thought I'll try it. Now, Ico. Obviously, we get these in every beauty box, every advent calendar. We end up with 27 of these every year. Um, and I've never been a fan of Ico eyeliners, especially, like, the fat one. I think it's just it's just too fat and too, like, solid for me to draw my line. Even the skinny one, it's like a felt tip nib, so it's, there's not much flexibility at all. Um, but I opened this one thinking it was a different one, and I was pleasantly surprised. Obviously, I've got eyeshadow at the end, but... This is the nib, and it's like, it's kind of like a brush nib. It is really, really nice. Um, so it's super flexible, you can really get precise, you can get right into the corner, right over, really nice flick, and it is such a nice pen. Now, I usually just keep this lay like this in my drawer, in my eyeliner section, but I found that after a couple of uses, it seemed quite dry, so now I'm just popping it stood on its nib like this um, in my lipstick holder, and it seems to just, be keeping fine so yeah really impressed with that like pleasantly surprised was not expecting that at all okay the final product is downstairs so be right back okay i'm back so the final product is another one from the cult beauty advent calendar last year um and this has just been sitting in my lipstick holder and i just thought i need to give this a go because i've not tried this one yet um and this is the victoria beckham posh lipstick in the shade pout so the packaging is so so stunning it feels so luxe, and then that's how much I've used. Twist it up, and that is the colour. Now it looks quite pinky on there. That looks darker than it actually is, um, but it is so nice. It's a really, really nice creamy consistency. I've worn it in my last few videos, I think. Yeah, definitely my last few videos. So the Bobbi Brown unboxing, it will have been this. The Look Fantastic Summer Skincare one would have been this one. Um, and yeah, it's just the nicest lipstick. You don't even need a lip liner with it, but I've been wearing the MAC World Lip Liner um, just to give a bit of definition and make sure it doesn't bleed. Although it hasn't bled um, without a lip liner, it's just so perfect. I love it, and it's such a nice shade. Very everyday. I can even put it on when I've just got my sunscreen on, and it just doesn't look weird. It's nice. I love it. So yeah, this is going to be one that will be probably on my Christmas list this year. It's just such a stunning lipstick. Really nice consistency, really nice colour, and I really like it. Okay, so that is everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed this bit of a different video. Um, so like I said, I'm going to be trying these new products when I get around to them, which hopefully should be soon. Um, and yeah, those are the products that I'm loving and enjoying at the moment. I'll link all these down below if you do want to check any of them out. Um, like always, if you tried any of these products, please let me know what you think about them, um, and if there are any products that you recommend that I try. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I'll see you soon for another video.